Ere we begin, I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Urianger. There's no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. Since then, we have seen no sign of this fan Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porksies do their work. Are you saying they were tempered? Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory be to Garland. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities. Yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire is the common threat. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Fandaniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Garlean army to the banner of the Telophoroi. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Given the nature of the enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. What? Resistant to primal influence as they are, 
They can investigate the towers without fear of being turned. We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arunbald? I am. Come on, let's talk outside. So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamal Vrimvmar at Ralga's Reach as well. Arunvold, I admire your enthusiasm. But this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Aldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. <clears throat> so the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. ...that the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now... ...from out of its twitching carcass crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head! I fought... ...for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is. I need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate, exactly? Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Even so, I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. 
Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least it won't lose our way. Well, we'd best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could make another trip to Loxel. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Ha! <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh? It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favor if I'm not there. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. We both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that given what's coming. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. No, the fact is I'm nothing like them and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. They're counting on me, on us, so let's give it our all. He does not want for conviction, that much is certain. So let us have faith in him, him and Fordola both. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Ah, bloody thing. Can you hear me? It's Tataru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. And I'm... Sorry to say, he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send a bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stone. Good luck. While you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long.